halogens form different oxides. Fluorine, considering it can take a very small number of oxidation states, again, we have already discussed that fluorine does not have oxides. We consider them as fluorides of oxygen. Fluorine can form either OF2 or O2F2, oxygen difluoride or dioxygen difluoride. Of course, dioxygen difluoride is a very unstable compound. Chlorine can form oxides where chlorine assumes an oxidation state of plus 1 or plus 4 or plus 6 or plus 7. Bromine and its oxides could assume an oxidation state of either plus 1 or plus 5. Iodine has an oxide where iodine is in its plus 5 oxidation state, which is the only known true oxide of iodine. Yes, we have other oxides of iodine, like the I2O3 or the I2O9, but these are considered as ionic compounds. Most of these oxides can be considered as anhydrides of hydrooxy acids of halogens. Of the oxy acids of halogens, again, fluorine can only form one oxy acid, which is the HOF. The other halogens, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, can form four different series of oxy acids, in which each one of them, you will find the halogen in its plus one, plus three, plus five, or plus seven oxidation state. Let's consider the acidic character of the hypohalous acids, the HOX acids. Let's consider two just for comparison. One will have the HOCl and we have the HOI. Now, we do realize that oxygen has a stronger electronegativity, a greater electronegativity than the hydrogen, the chlorine, or the iodine. Oxygen being of higher electronegativity than all of the halogens. What can influence the nature of bonding is the electronegativity of the halogens themselves, which among chlorine and iodine has a greater electronegativity? Chlorine, of course. What about the difference in electronegativity within the OX bond? Where do you suppose the difference in electronegativity is greater, in the case of OCl or in the case of OI? The electronegativity difference in the case of OI is much greater than the difference in the case of OCl. We will see that in the OI bond, oxygen pulls the shared pair of electrons much closer to itself as compared to in the OCl bond. In other words, the density of electrons on account of the OX bond is much greater in the case of HOI. The density of electrons around oxygen in the HOCl because of the OX bond is a lot lesser in comparison. As a consequence of the density of electrons from the OX bond, now let's look at the OH bond. The acidic character, by the way, is the ability or the acidic strength is on the ease of release of H plus ions. Now, in the OH bond, depending on if oxygen is very strongly pulling the electrons from the OH bond or weakly pulling the electrons in the OH bond. In the case where it is strongly pulling the electrons, the OH bond can easily cave away to give us an acidic substance. Now let's look at these two cases again. A higher electron-dense oxygen bonded with a hydrogen, a lower electron-dense oxygen bonded with a hydrogen. In which of these cases will the OH shared pair of electrons be pulled closer by oxygen? Considering the electron density is lesser around oxygen in this case, the OH bond is much strongly, the electrons of the OH bond are much stronger pulled by oxygen in the case of HOCl than in the case of HOI, implying it's easier to cave away an H plus from HOCl than it is to cave away an H plus from HOI. As follows, HOCl is more acidic than HOI. And as a trend, as you go down the group and consider hypohalous compounds, the acid strength or the acidic character decreases as we go down the group. For more videos and live lectures on the JEE, click on the subscribe button now.